Metal Best ASA Softball Bats there are. Today I'm here to bring you a bat review of the 2021 Worth Creature XL. We are going to put this up on the radar today using the Worth Hot Dot Cycle Ball SYCO. Let's go forward, creature! 93 miles per hour. Now this is a two-piece bat for ASA or USA only. Has a half ounce end load. Uh, that's the uh, XL. Uh, a couple years ago, I think it was 2018, Worth had a, a double XL. That was the Worth EST XXL. That was the purple bat. Uh, but if you have the XL, that's a half ounce end load. Two X two XL is a one ounce end load. 92 miles per hour. All right, this is a 25 ounce model. It also comes with 26, I believe the 27. I don't think 28 now that I'm thinking off the top of my head. Uh, but this is the 25 ounce model. I actually, this was on back order for quite a long time. I had the 26 ounce last year. I went with the 25 ounce this year. I wanted to check it out, see if there was any difference, see if I'd like it a little bit more. 94 miles per hour. Now this is gonna have uh, a thicker handle knob as compared to, you know, like here's the monster Return of the King, like the black sheep. So the handle knob's going to be thicker. Uh, you know, I, I've gotten used to the smaller ones. Anarchy bats are typically the really small ones. Uh, the Worth, the Mikan, and the De Marini tend to be uh, larger, and then the monster bats are right in the middle there. 92 miles per hour. Uh, the half ounce end load, uh, you know, I don't feel like it's very super pronounced. Uh, the creature typically swings a little bit lighter to me as well as the, the Mike and KP23. As compared to like the monster bats tend to swing heavier. Uh, this is a 13 and a half inch barrel, half ounce end load. 13 and a half inch barrel, half ounce end load. 94 miles per hour. All right, getting some 94s. So it's a super hot day out here good humidity just rained a little bit but not much uh so what's the highest we got so far today i think it's uh so 97 or i think i have the unleashed you had one uh 98. 89 miles per hour the uh monster allegiance which is a torch repaint actually just got 97 out of the wrapper so i was excited about that this is a torch repaint now, this bat, the creature, uh, this one has, I can't, I couldn't remember if I had around 100 swings or 200 swings. Either way, it is impressive that it can go down to 1300 on the compression tester uh, before it, you know, you can't go below that. This currently is already at 1350 uh, to 1400 all the way around the barrel. One spot on the barrel is just past 1400, uh, but that, that's very impressive. Because I, you know, I feel like once the bat gets down within 100 from that compression, uh, it should hold that line uh, for a long time. Uh, hopefully, Lord willing, until it breaks. Uh, but to get to get it that low, close to the line, that soon is very impressive. Uh, I noticed that with the Mike and bats, uh, except for the KP23 uh, and the the creature, it just gets to that compression number very quickly. So if you're looking for a bat that just breaks in very rapidly. You know, the Worth uh, Creature or the Mike and Primos, uh, you know, those are going to be good bats to look to. 92 miles per hour. Hey, come back to your ball. All right, in terms of looks, you know, I like the look of this bat, nice and simple. You know, and it's just fantastic, nice and, nice and clean and simple. I think the, the one last year was the same look, just the... Uh, a green base paint, if I remember right. Uh, in terms of feel, you know, like I said, it's gonna it's gonna feel lighter in the swing compared to uh, when you when you hear half ounce end load. Sometimes you're thinking it's gonna be a heavier swing, but I feel like it swings lighter for that. Ninety miles per hour. Ah. Uh, but it feels good through the zone. It feels like you can whip it through real good. I mean, you are going to notice the end load, but it's not going to be very pronounced. But this, it just feels it feels fairly light, and then it's just going to come right through. 93 miles per hour. Uh, in terms of sound, 
I think the Creature is one of the best sounding bats out there, maybe even the best. Uh, second to that would be Mike and KP23. You know, those might go back and forth, but they just, they sound so good. 87 well, miles per hour. Bad, right, I don't know. It's just kind of cool to have a nice sounding bat, I think. Plus, you know, even it's, it's nice that even when you hit the ball bad, it at least sounds like you hit it good. But just a great sounding bat. 91 miles per hour. Smashing glass. Now, in terms of performance, I know a lot of people love this bat. I just, you know, I get decent performance from it. It's good. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. I mean, you can see the numbers here. They're just, they're okay. Uh, let's give a couple swings to the Unleashed. This is my current gamer, one piece, 25 ounce mid load. Uh, let's see how this one can do. 94 miles per hour. Oh, Unleashed. You're gonna have to do better than that. 94 miles per hour. Uh oh, maybe the creature. <clears throat> like I said, it is hot. I'm sure I'm getting tired. So maybe the creature <clears throat> is going to show us that it's here to compete. 95 miles per uh -oh. hour. Well, at least it's going to take off here. Go for it now. 94 miles per hour. Now, again, this one has considerably more swings on it, but compression wise, that creature, I mean, it's pretty ready to go. One more for the Unleashed. 94 miles per hour. Wow. All right. All right. That's impressive then. <clears throat> I mean, it's only one, one mile per hour faster. All right, creature. Let's go for it. Let's outdo the Unleashed right here on camera. <clears throat> go for it. Wow. Now I can tell. You know, that's 25 ounces, this is a 25 ounce, it's mid-loaded. That typically, as soon as it repaints, uh, it's gonna weigh 25 and a half to 25.7 on the scale. I can tell this, this swing's lighter than that. Oh, come on, getting excited. Come on, creature, go for it here. 90 miles per hour. Uh, I, you know, when I had these outside, Every once in a while, the creature really got a hold of one, but just could not compete with uh, the Sinister for me. Uh, like I said, it sounds great, feels good in the swing. I just don't get the performance that other people seem to get from it. 91 miles per Come hour. On. Let's go, creature. Come on, right here. 90 miles per hour. All right, all right. See this one slowing down. I'm sure I'm slowing down. Getting tired in this heat. Gonna take two more at the unleashed. You know, I always like to test bats right in the same same workout here so you can compare in the moment. 94 miles per hour. See, yep. Yeah. The unleashed. Just standing out. 93 miles per hour. Right, you got one more. One more to show us what you can do, unleashed. 94 miles per hour. Right. Now, if you're looking for one of these brand new, you know, these I feel like are really hard to come by this year. So I'm guessing probably 225, uh, maybe 210. If you're looking for one used, let's say 185. 90 miles per hour. 190. Be sure to check out the bathound.com. 89 miles per hour. Just cannot keep up here. I'm getting tired. The worst creature is getting tired with me. But the Unleashed won't go down. It just keeps going. 95 miles per hour. Right. That's how you do it, Unleashed. The Bathound.com where you'll find used bats, uh, merch, recommended products, and more. There it is for the worst creature XL 2021. Feel free to leave any questions, comments down below. This is the Bathound. Everyone signing up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel up here. Check out some other videos up here and down here. Thanks, everybody.